Welcome back to the channel, gentlemen. Today is part two of the Colt competition. I think I've got about 500 rounds or so through this now. Shot about 200 this weekend. So we are clear and unloaded here, and we're not on safe because it's 1911 and you can't move the slide around when it's on safe. So this is rapidly becoming my favorite pistol, and I think an addiction is forming for this pistol. Um, unfortunately, 45 ACP is pretty damn expensive. So we're solving that with, uh, I actually bought a brass catcher thing that sits on the side here for this. I think I'm actually gonna try to reload if I can ever find any pistol primers. So I'm sure everyone watching this uh, channel is aware of the primer shortage. But anyway, that's besides the point, back on point to this pistol. So, uh, one thing that uh, a buddy of mine, he watched my last video, and he said that um, I'm always negative on everything in the sense of the points that I bring up. And uh, it's true. I guess I see a lot of uh, reviews on YouTube, and they're all positive, and they're gushing. And it's like you read any gun magazine, too. It's like literally nothing's wrong with the gun, because obviously the gun company is paying the magazine, so they're not going to write anything honest or bad about it. So, I really like this gun, like I said, rapidly becoming my favorite. Um, and uh, there's, there's, it's a great shooter. Um, so while maybe some of my comments in the last one were perceived as too negative, uh, for me, I just like to, basically when I learn about something, the first thing that goes through my head is what the hell is wrong with it? Because uh, that's what I really want to know. Um, so, back to this. Um, the front sight here, broke off at about 500 rounds or so, because um, I shot a little bit past 500. Um, so that didn't last too long. Uh, I put a new one on there though, and uh, that was no big deal. That's to be expected with fiber optic. But um, I think long-term, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna stay with the fiber optic or not. Um, my father tells me when you get older, this is basically the only way to shoot. So there is that. Um, so, I discussed how the slide serrations here were kind of sharp last time, and I I put my thumb, you know, pretty close to it when I shoot, and um, I kind of changed around my grip slightly here, and I brought my support hand up a little bit so that allowed my thumb, I don't know how I can show this best, get here. So, uh, my thumb actually is going to sit on my support hand, and uh, I got this idea actually from watching Larry Vickers and I saw slow-mo. I noticed his, his thumb was kind of sitting like this. So I was like, I'm going to try that because normally my thumb's a little bit further down. Sure enough, it allowed my uh, firing hand thumb to get a little bit more off the safety. I'd say I was more really in like this and now I'm more a little bit off of it. I'm still touching the serrations. I'm just not as hard into that. And so by doing that, the sharp serrations here did become an issue. And uh, some of me wonders, you know, with these being so sharp, so while I guess for me there is the negative of it can, you know, eat away at your thumb over time. The flip side of that is if this was muddy or your hands were really sweaty or your hands were bloody, worst case scenario, um, you would still be able to rack this, I think, with ease because it is so dang sharp. And I was looking around a little bit more, and I'm not sure what the order of uh, things are as far as when Colt produce these things, but it seems to me that the Marine uh, Combat 1911 pistol that Colt produced for them has the same slide serrations, and then also the Colt Railgun, which I think the Marine Combat pistol was based on, has the same slide serrations. From what I can see, just looking at them, I think those are all the same. So I'm guessing Colt basically, um, you know, when you're making something in a manufacturing sense, it's cheaper if you make them all the same. So I think Colt kind of adopted that for the Colt competition. I'm sure they didn't have to recalibrate some machine and obviously that was easier. And so I have to say with time, the uh, slide serrations, I've kind of gotten used to them and I can actually even see some advantages to them. And it is nice too, you know, my other 1911, uh, you know, these serrations, they're slanted. My other one is straight up vertical up and down. And this is, it is easier to um, maneuver around. 
or not maneuver around, cycle the slide uh, in that fashion, just given the nature of the way your hand is generally going to kind of be moving when you do that, you're less, you're a little bit more apt to slip off the gun when they're straight vertical, whereas this way it has some additional slant, so just the nature of um, the direction that your hand is going, it's more oriented in that way, so you're less apt to slip off. So that's kind of nice. I'm actually starting to like these. And then um, the other thing to talk about here today is, this is a negative that I forgot to talk about, is that's not the slide. Um, that is the grip safety, and the grip safety is pretty poorly fit and also isn't under a lot of tension from the spring. I haven't opened this up, and I actually plan to replace this with a Wilson Combat pistol, or, or Wilson Combat grip anyway. So it's uh, it's not that big a deal to me, but it might be a big deal to other people, I guess. And so, you know, even just walking around, like I put this in a holster and I walked around, and you can hear it right there. So that might be a negative for some people. For what this is, I, I think it's fine. I mean, it is advertised as a combat, or excuse me, a competition pistol. It's not like advertised as like some kind of operator pistol. So um, I'd be curious to see. I think Colt has, you know, similar, um, very similar style of guns. And I'd be curious to see if uh, like the operator ones have this same clicking noise. My gut feeling is maybe they do. <coughs> but I could be wrong. And so another positive too, um, if I take my 1990s produced Colt 1911, which I don't have with me right now, but um, if I do this, it makes a lot of noise. The, sl the slide to frame fit is not that great. This has some wiggle to it, but nothing bad. So that's a, that is a positive too. You know, it's got a decent um, slide to frame fit. Not as good as like Wilson Combat, but... Um, you know, this didn't cost the Wilson Combat either, so trade-offs. And then um, I think the last thing I got on this video is I went through and I shot, um, you know, all these different types of magazines here. So uh, they came with this eight-round Colt magazine, and I've heard, I read that these had some tr troubles with them, and sure enough, um, the only issues I had with this gun the entire time was I had one round that uh, failed to fire, and that was blatantly the round. Like I pull, I waited the um, you know some for some time just to make sure it wasn't hang fire. Opened it up, looked at the round. It was a very deep primer hit, so that was obviously the round. Um, so the other problem I had is when this was fully loaded to eight, I put it in the gun racked the slide and then the slide um, didn't go into battery and basically the round got stuck on the feed ramp um, and so that took another tap there from the slide and that happened twice with this eight round magazine so um, I think that's entirely just a magazine issue I like Wilson combat magazines and I tried out their 10 round one. I tried out this eight round one. I can't remember what it's called. And then my favorites are these seven round, I think they're like 47 B or D or so. I can't remember. I'm sure everyone probably knows what this is that's watching this. Cause if you're watching this, you have watched probably every other 1911 video to have found this one. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, all the Wilson combat magazines, they function flawlessly. And it was, you know, it's a good gun. Um, it's a very good gun. Very happy with it. And uh, I think that's all I got. And I will, if there's a further update or more thoughts that need to be said about it for a potential buyer, um, I'll make another video. But uh, for now, definitely recommend this gun. And it's definitely starting to become my absolute favorite. I actually, on work on Friday, I'm actually sitting there at the end of the day and I'm starting to think about, all right, it's about time to go to the range and shoot this. So recommend it.